In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create weekly planner template in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added the text called the weekly planner and here you can put the top priorities for this week and at the bottom I've put all the weekdays here starting from Monday till Sunday and you can add the date here and you can add your uh, more detailed text onto these uh, areas and on the right side I have created a to-do list you can see here you can just put your to-do list and with the shadow effect I have created and I have added one more uh, area where you can have some ideas you can just add the ideas here and at the bottom just to look good I've just added some small flowers and plant uh, images and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon and you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to uh, cover the slide with the rectangle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any light color here in this case i'm just going to use this light green color you can see here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert add few more rectangles so i can just go to the rectangles so and depending on your requirement how much height and width you need you can just adjust it all right so maybe i need this much and later on we can increase or decrease also not a problem shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some light gray color and i'm going to add one more rectangle at the top here you can see here maybe this one this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make it white color and few more rectangles or two more other rectangles i'm just going to add the right side so go to insert shapes select again make sure that it is properly aligned and equal spacing given at the right and the left side shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can make it white and press ctrl d to duplicate and just bring it down and then aligned bottom here all right so something like this uh, i have just made the format now it's time to add the text and other details now i'm going to add the text here for that go to insert and just type the text and I'm going to say weekly planner and the font I'm going to use a black and the color is black and the font I'm going to use called the ink free and if you don't have this font you can just download it or you can use any uh, font of your choice let me just make it bold and increase the size as per my requirement maybe this much size I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to add one more uh, table here where I'm going to add the top priorities which I need to do this week. For that I'm going to insert one table, go to insert tables. I can add maybe three or four rows you can see here and make sure that the banded rows and the header rows are unticked and I'm just going to select this and the shading I'm going to make it as no fill so it looks something like this and it is uh, the the lines are not visible so what i'm going to do now is first of all i'm going to, to just choose maybe this line size is a half point you can see here pen color any pen color depending on your requirement you can choose and the border i have to make it first of all no borders and then i'm going to choose inside horizontal border so it looks something like this can you see here and then depending on my requirement i can just reduce the size and just place it here and then i'm just going to add uh, one a label or the caption called the top priorities so go to insert text box and i'm going to just top write top priorities all right and then let me just center aligned okay and again if you want to change the font you can change the font not a problem and then um, i'm going to add the same table here also and before that if you want you can add some shadow effect to look better go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black 
then right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to increase the transparency and then go to the effects soft edges increase the size you can see here and then let me just increase it further and i'm just going to bend it a little bit and send this to back you can see here it looks something like this maybe i need to increase the transparency further all right and press ctrl d the same thing i can do this for the bottom rectangle also and then i can just bend it a little bit and then send this to back so it looks something like this now i'm going to add here the to-do list for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any gray color or whatever and i'm just going to say to do list and then i'm just going to select this table press ctrl d to duplicate and put it here align it properly you can see here and then press the tab key so that it will add further rows to it all right so again i'm going to select this both press ctrl d to duplicate i'm bringing it down and if you want to change the color of this one you can just change the color as per your requirement so no problem with that and i'm just going to press the tab key to add further rows so it looks something like this the next part is i'm going to add the weekdays here for that go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle and make it less curved you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to select white here and here i can make the width as maybe 1.63 or 1.64 all right and i'm just going to paste it here and go to insert text box i'm going to add the day here starting with monday you can see here just put it at the top and i'm going to add one more rounded corner rectangle or rectangle so you can just see here shape outline no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some light color where you're going to put the date or something else and here i'm going to copy this the table again press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here reduce the width and press the tab key here you can see here and align it properly then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to just paste it here one two three four five six and seven and maybe we need to just uh, reduce the gap here so let me just put tuesday you can see here thursday friday saturday and sunday and then i'm just going to select this uh, labels or the text and then start reducing the size make it a center aligned maybe i can put 12 here and format align put it on top and this also i'm just going to select and format align i'm just going to make it top something like this and make sure that our uh, this one also uh, this rectangle white rectangles also i have to align it top all right so let me just go to format align and top and here what i need to do is one by one i need to just select this and i have to just reduce the gap here so that i can fit the all the other this one the days here you can see here just otherwise i should have taken the width as only a 1.5 or 1.55 instead of 1.6 so you can see here 
something like this and uh, when you added the table the problem is you cannot group it you can see here you cannot group it so let me just uh, align the last one now maybe we need to give a uh, equal spacing there but no problem okay so something like this or let me just select all of this and then move towards the right so that it got the equal spacing here so you can see here uh, with this we have completed the weekly planner and if you want to add some icons here you can add the icons here just to look good i have just used this uh, images and i can just put it at the bottom here at the bottom of the page press ctrl d all right so something like this you can do it and what you can do once this is done you can go to file save as and you can just save this as a pdf file and you can print it and you can use it for your weekly updates